Have you ever wondered what it takes for a pilot to get one of these airplanes up in the air? In today's video, I'm bringing you aboard and giving you a first person point of view into my pre-flight procedures, engine start, takeoff, and landing. Now, I will admit, this airplane behind me is not your average trainer. This is a 1959 Piper Comanche. She has a retractable landing gear, variable pitch prop, and a hell of a lot more ponies behind this hood. Okay, before we start, let's get this clear. I'm a private and instrument rated pilot. Everything you're gonna see here is for entertainment purposes only. If you wanna go try this and you're not a certified pilot, please go get yourself a certified flight instructor and go learn how to fly. All right guys, so the first thing we do is get in the airplane and start going through our checklist. In the cabin, we wanna make sure that our control wheel is released, which we've already done. It's nice and release and open. <clears throat> the next thing we do is our avionics, make sure our avionics are off. Ignition is off, landing gear is selected down, which is right here. Then we turn our master switch on, so let's go ahead and do that. Ah, master comes on. Then we do our fuel. We have full tanks on both tanks, and then our tip tanks. Also, we have our left and our right tip are filled halfway. Flaps, we're gonna go ahead and lower and our required paperwork. That's all in the back of the plane. And then we also have our POH um, in here as well. Although I have all our POH in our my phone and the iPad as well. All right guys, everything inside the cabin's ready. So now we're gonna go out and go through the checklist really quick. So we have on our right wing, we have our control surfaces, wing tip, nav lights, fuel tank, Fuel vents tie down, which we don't have in the hangar. Wheel chocks, which we don't have. Uh, the strut and the tire. Let's first start with our flaps. So we, we're double checking that everything looks good. No bolts missing or screws or anything like that. Everything's nice and tight. We have full play um, in the aileron. Here's our right tip and our nav light. Things looking good. <clears throat> check the quantity in our tip tank it's halfway full which is good exactly where we left it landing light looks good again make sure that our drain holes and all that stuff is looking good no bolts missing screws missing okay we'll quickly check this this should be really full i uh, i just filled up on the last trip so let's double check oh, yep there it is <laughs> Really full there. Excellent. Check our tire and yeah, you could see it venting out of the hole because I inflated it too much. What I usually do is I um, kind of press against the tire to check the pressure. Um, I do occasionally every uh, three months or so check the tire pressure um, with this to make sure that it's inflated at the right quantity. Okay, next we're gonna start going down and sample check the fuel. So this is to make sure that we don't have any fuel in the belly or any water or contaminants, excuse me. I just give it one look around here. This is normal oil, by the way. Comanches are known to be a little leaky. Ah. Okay. To check in the fuel to make sure that it's all blue. Aviation fuel is blue. If there's any water, the water would kind of sink to the bottom and you'd be able to see um, the difference there. Next, uh, we'll check the cowling on the other end. We're gonna check the propeller. Here's an alternator belt. Make sure that there's no big rock scratches or anything like that. There's a propeller control cable. Again, tire, make sure it's nice and inflated inflated properly okay next we're gonna go through our engine oil make sure one we have enough oil and two that um, the oil is good quality this airplane splits anything over nine so right now we have a little bit under nine quarts perfect that's looking good we'll secure that Let's go back to my checklist, make sure we're not missing anything before we get to the left wing. 
So let's see, we got control surfaces, wingtips, navigation light, fuel tank, the vents look good, tie down, no tie down, no chalk, wheel struts and tire look good, windshield looks good, the engine compartment will check, the generator belt, brake fluid I know is good from our last check, from my last check, oil is good, dipstick is good, the oil inspection cover is good, air inlets look good, propeller looked area, uh, look good. The uh, area around the propeller was good. No strut is great. Uh, tire and cowling. Okay, and I will show you, I'll open up the cowling on this side so you can kind of get a, a view. So this is a six cylinder, 200, 250 horsepower like homing. Here's the brake fluid. I did just check this during the last flight, so I know it's good. There isn't any major leaks or anything like that um, that would concern me check this real quick yeah, that's full. so I did see a little bit of uh, fluid there so I'm going to check the brakes before we go but it looks good and it's also really full so might have just been a slight leak in the line close this up all right nice and secure we'll double check the fuel quantity here as well this should be a little low yeah because I came back I flew, flew to Marina to fuel up it's like two dollars and fifty cents cheaper than it is here at Reed Hillview so that saved me over a hundred dollars actually when you have 90 tanks or 90 gallon tanks all right this is the stall light make sure that's good pitot tube cover that looks good Again, we're not planning on using our tip tanks today, but we'll check them just in case. And quantities look good there as well. Light, light. And kind of the same thing as the right wing here. Just double checking the play, make sure everything's nice and tight. No loose screws, nothing like that. Okay. So we've gone through the left wing. Let's give the quick checklist um, check here. We check the fuel tanks, fuel vents, tie down, wheel chocks we don't have, strut look good, tire look good, starting st the stall warning switch look good, pitot heat, wing tip, navigation lights, control services. All right, next we move to the fuselage and the empennage. Static vents, control surfaces, nav lights, antennas, um, any air outlets tie down okay and baggage door okay so again no screws missing antennas all look good we have some antennas here in the bottom that looks good Ooh, this is our static one of our static uh, ports we have another one on the other side gonna check everything here as well <clears throat> something in the command cheese is they're known to have um, the tail horn gets loose so it is something I check before every flight to make sure that there's no play in it. Check the rudder here. I don't know how much you can see, but I'm checking essentially to make sure that everything's nice and tight, nothing that's loose or something that would be a concern for flight. Antennas look good. Static port, again, looks good. And that should be it. Baggage door is locked and secure. All right. So now let's get the airplane out and we'll get ready with the engine start. All right guys, so now we are in the cabin and we pulled the plane out, getting ready for engine start. So we'll go back to that handy dandy checklist and we'll go to our uh, before engine start procedures. First, make sure that the seats are nice, <clears throat> locked. Um, next, our seatbelts are on. My seatbelt's already on. Setting up the brakes. So this one's got, uh, I don't have tow brakes. I only have um, hand brake here. And by pulling this bar and locking it here, that means that I can um, set the emergency or the parking brakes. Carburetor heat, full cold, that's set. Fuel selector. We are going to be on our right main tank. That is the fullest tank at the moment, and that's what we'll likely take the whole flight in. The circuit breakers, make sure everything is in. Okay, that's good. 
Avionics is off, air vents. Um, we'll go ahead and open a couple air vents because it's getting a little toasty. Static source, alternate static source is good. The controls are free and correct. Yep. And the door is locked and latched, okay? Our engines start. So, next is our throttle, about a quarter inch. Mixture coming full rich. Our prop control, and again, this is a controller that you typically wouldn't see in a trainer, um, but with the higher performance airplanes, you'll see the blue knob. Um, so that is full forward. My master switch comes on at this point. Okay, we're gonna do our electric fuel pump. Let's make sure that we're getting fuel pressure and our pressure is rising and I can also hear the pump, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and prime. And we'll give it six shots of prime. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, next we'll engage the starter. Keys are good for that. <laughs> we'll set it on the left magneto. And we have a starter switch here. Next we'll say clear prop to make sure nobody's around. Visual inspection as well. Clear prop. All right, here we go. Two five zero eight Zulu, ready to be ground. Taxi straight. All right. So now mags are on both. RPM a thousand. Our oil pressure is looking good. Fuel pressure is a little low, but that's normal for engine start. And our oil temperature will climb. All right. We'll lean the mixture out as much as we can. So it's a nine wheel trailer. Use caution for outbound system. I have gone ahead and moved our our flaps up at this point. So before I move on to the next part of the checklist, I want to make sure that I have the weather we have information. The Henry Toby. I'll lower that down and I'll tune in to the so radio frequency here at Reed Hillview, right Hillview, which is 125.2. Baby tower information golf 0047 Zulu, wind 310 at Niner, visibility 10, speed clouds at 5000, temperature 16, 2.5. Altimer 3002. Alright, now Zulu, roaming to and right, approach and use. Landing and departing, roaming to and right, and roaming to and left. Engine all aircraft, 5G, no effect. Alright, so we got weather, and every hour they update it unless it's pretty severe. Uh, right now we have information golf, so when we call the control controller, we'll tell them, hey, we have golf, and they'll know that we have the latest weather information. Okay, they also gave us the altimeter setting, which is 3002. We got that in as well. And the winds are fairly calm today, uh, almost pretty much down the runway, not too bad. Alrighty, so we have golf, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a little closer where the tower can see us, and we'll let them know where we are, and what we intend to do. Good evening, Reed Hillview, ground, command chief 5825 Papa, row India, taxi for takeoff with information, golf, request to stay in the pattern. Command chief 5825 Papa, Reed Hillview, ground, roaming right, taxi for Three one right via Zulu two five pop. So he's given us our taxi clearance, so we can go ahead and enter the taxiway. We are here at Row Zulu. Our right and our left are clear. We're turning left towards runway three one right. So when we're taxiing, you know, one of the first things you learn when uh, you take your first lesson is how to taxi. And in an airplane, you don't taxi with your hands. This doesn't do anything. You taxi with your have the rudder pedals and you want to make sure that those are nice and straight and you'll also maintain the airplane down the center line in this case yellow line all right so we're a little fast so i'm going to go ahead and slow down lower down the power give a little break most airplanes will have uh tow brakes this airplane does not and after flying many different types of airplanes i gotta say i actually really like the handbrake it took me a little bit to get used to, but uh, overall, I actually prefer it. Uh, you don't have any differential braking, uh, especially when landing. And I don't know. For me, I've actually really, really liked that. So this is a hot spot here at the airport, making sure my right side is clear. I'm going to go ahead and enter the run-up area. 
And this area is area to check, do one more set of checks. Um, for those that are not pilots, you're probably like, man, a lot of checks. And it's true, it is. But the idea is to make sure that we check everything, make sure that everything is as safe as possible before we enter flight. Now we're going to go ahead and start a run up procedure. And I have a mnemonic. It's a. Uh, called cigars <laughs> and uh, I'll go through that and then I'll check the checklist one more time to make sure that I have included everything and haven't forgotten anything. So the first is C uh, for controls. So again double checking my controls making sure when I turn right that aileron goes up and when I turn left it goes down and the same the opposite here. Last make sure that my elevator is going up and down. Good. So that's the C. Next is I for instruments. So making sure all my instruments are looking good. Uh, instrument. This one is not, so let's check it here. So I'm matching this, which is my head, uh, my yeah, heading indicator, to my compass, and this is driven by a gyro instrument. Next is my attitude. I'll check my trim, make sure that's in neutral. Um, my vertical speed is at zero, which is where it should be, and my attitude indicator is a little high, but it's fine because the airplane likes to sit up a little high during uh, taxi. The so next is engine run up. So we will put the mixture full rich. RPMs come to 1800. Eighteen hundred RPM. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle the prop. This is not something that you would do in a trainer. Again, most trainers don't have this uh, blue knob, but what we're doing is, is we're adding oil to the propeller governor, and that's what's switching the uh, the pitch of the propeller. So it's got nice and warm oil in there. I've also checked a, a couple things, make sure the oil pressure drops a little bit as it should. Um, all right, next we're gonna go up to 2,000 RPM, so a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna check our magnetos. So our left magneto, has a good drop. Our right magneto, we want no more than 170, 175 or 95 RPM and drop. So, so far that's good. All right, our suction looks good. Let's check our amps, make sure that's charging. Good. All right, carb heat. And idle check. This essentially makes sure that the engine's not going to quit on us when we do go full idle. All right, good. All right, back to about a thousand RPM. Make sure lean. Next is our radio, so we'll go to Radio V Tower. Okay, and then next we'll seat belt switches. And before we take off, we're gonna set up set our flaps. We're gonna do two notches of flaps. And before we take the runway, we're gonna put our mixture full rich, and our fuel pump will come on. At this point, we can go ahead and put our landing lights on as well. And, like I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to go through my checklist and make sure I did not miss a thing. Cessna 234, the upland Cessna is a gentleman. Alrighty guys, so we are ready for departure. The last things we need to do is put our mixture and our fuel pump. Those with families, I don't know about you guys, but I always text my wife, let her know I'm about to take off, just so she's aware. Now that we've gone through our checklist, we've done a run of procedures, Make sure that everything's good. We will call the tower and let them know that we're ready for departure. Today we're going to be staying in the pattern, which essentially just means takeoffs and landings. We'll do two landings today. Unless one is not good, then we'll do another one. And uh, that will be it. So let's go ahead and we're already in our tower frequency. Let's go ahead and call them up. Good evening, Reed Hillview Tower, Command T 5825 Papa at the 3 1 run up area, ready for departure. Command T 5825 Papa, ready for tower, cross on the right, hold short, running to one left. Cross through one right, hold short, through one left, two by pop. So today we're going to be taking the left runway. Engine 1 2 Delta, traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles, inbound Cessna 3000. As we cross the we'll runway, cross the making Delta. sure that there's nobody coming in for final. That's the iPad telling me what to do, or telling me about my situational awareness as well. Alright. Commander 2 5 pop, the left close traffic, go to one left from takeoff. Left close traffic there for takeoff. Uh, two pipe pop. All right, fuel pump coming on, mixture coming full rich. We are cleared for takeoff. Okay. Things looking good. Ready to go. So we'll slowly apply power. Test the two, three, eight, four, one, reserve tower. 
All right, full power. Airspeed's coming alive. She's good. And today we're super light, so she's already ready to fly. Okay. We're going to tap the brakes. Usually we do a gear up, but because we're staying in the pattern, I'm going to go ahead and leave it down. Less wear on the end, on the uh, gear motor. All right, flaps coming up. I'll leave one notch in since we're again we're staying in the pattern here. Okay, what's different about about this airplane again? It's higher performance airplane. We got 250 horsepower, so we'll climb a lot faster than your typical Cessna or uh, you know Piper Cherokee. I'm gonna turn our left crosswind, making sure there's no traffic. Everything's looking good. And pattern altitude here today is 1,100 feet. All right, we are clear to land. We're going to do a touch and go and then take off again. Go ahead and decrease my power. We're reaching uh, pattern altitude. It happens very quick in this airplane, and that's a big difference between, you know, the, the trainers and a higher performance airplane. So we are already a beam our touchdown point, 1,100. So now we're going to go ahead and decrease our power. Three target after this, that's two, three, eight, four, one, eight miles. About 1,800 RPM. Uh, we're at about 100 miles per hour, which is perfect for our approach. We already got one notch of flap, fuel pump coming in, landing lights are on. So another mnemonic that we can do is the GUMPS check, which is gear, or gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, seatbelt. So make sure that everything's ready. Essentially that covers everything in the checklist that would be in our landing checklist. All right, so we're turning left base. Everything's looking great. Nobody's coming on final. Go ahead and turn our final now. And today we're going to use two notches of flaps. Again, we're very uh, light. No need to use full flaps. All right, speed's looking good. A little low on the on the approach here. It's all right. It's coming back in. There we go. All right, add second notch of flaps. Start bringing down the power. And last check. Gas undercarriage mixture prop seat belts. Section 224, runway 9 taxi Yankee. 319 taxi Yankee, 224. Alright, beautiful day to fly today. Alright, we want to be around 80 around the fence, which is right here. Just a little fast, but it's okay. We'll bring back that power. Now we are idle. Line it up, line it up, hold it off. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, Full power. And we're off. Alright, tap the brakes. Simulated gear coming up. Positive rate. Down one notch. Alright, so this is called an upwind leg. Coming out of 500 feet for 1,100. All right, turn left. Session 627, additional traffic, one o'clock, three miles, opposite direction, 3,300, type unknown. 800 for 1,100, making sure there's no traffic in the area. Session 627, traffic at now uh, one o'clock, two miles, 3,500 northbound. All right, let's lower down the power here. Twenty two five Papa, runway two and left, clear for the option, traffic two mile final, left, 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 left. All right, clear for the option, runway three one left, we're looking for traffic, two five Papa, and this will uh, be our final landing. 
Uh, let's look for that traffic. He's just landing on 3 1 right. We are on 3 1 left. Alright, we're beam our touchdown point again. Let's lower down the power. Fuel pump coming on. And then gas in your carriage mixture, prop seat belts. Alright. The prop will get in a little bit. Okay, I have traffic in sight. Radio V Tower is 4 star, 9170 Alpha over Calaveras, 3500 inbound for touch and go with. All right, turning base. We're turning 9170 miles for rid of a tower, right traffic going right tonight. Right traffic, tree went right, four star, 9170 miles. Base looks good. 100 miles per hour. Nobody coming in on final. All right, let's make that left turn for final. That's the 2 4 make an early right fast. cross when we're able. Early right cross at 2 3 4 Last check, gas undercarriage, make sure prop seat belts. Alright, perfectly on the glide slope now. We're probably gonna get a little low. Yeah, there we are. A little low. Okay, so in an airplane, to maintain your altitude, you add power. It's actually, especially during landing, you add power, and that will hold your altitude. Your speed is controlled with your yoke. All right, here we come. We're coming in a little fast. Two notches of flaps. All right, let's make this as nice as the first one. Nice speed. Ball 5637 Mike, read of tower, roger. Fly straight out, I'll call your right turn. Then All right, hold her off, hold her off. Straight out, you'll call the turn through night clip and take off ball 37 Mike. All right, a little bit right of center line, but not bad. All right, guys, there you have it. Flaps coming up. Fuel pump coming off. Mixture lean. And we'll just go to the end to save our brakes. No need to waste our brakes here. All right, guys, so that is the procedure. As you saw, the traffic pattern is significantly faster. I would say in a plane like this, just because, again, you got, you know, this plane has 250 horsepower, typically a trainer, you're learning in between 140 to 180 horsepower um, airplane. So, you know, you're going a little slower, things happen at a slower pace, which is nice, but this plane is built for traveling. So, um, you know, we hit speeds of 200 plus miles per hour, um, which is great for covering large distances, but for traffic work, or traffic pattern work, it can be and is a little fast. Um, so you just gotta stay ahead of it. And that's a big reason too why I don't put my gear down because there's too many uh, probabilities of things going wrong if I put my gear down or gear up and then I put it back down or forget to put it down. Um, might as well just keep it down. Anyway, anyway guys, let me know if you have any questions about this flight, any of the procedures. Um, let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see in the future for this channel. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that helps the channel a lot. And yeah, I'll be making more videos. Take care. See you on the next one.